everybody and welcome back to another On The Table video guys. So, what are we going to be doing this time on On The Table? Well guys, we are going to be doing an unboxing. We've not done an unboxing for a very, very long time. So, what are we going to be unboxing, I hear you ask? Well, if you've not looked at the title, here it is. Boom! We're going to be looking at the White Dwarf exclusive Tech Priest Grand Brindle. Um, I saw this and this was one of those things where, you know, when you just see something and you're just like, i got to fucking have this. I need this in my collection. Um, it was just a no-brainer. I mean, I've got Admech, I've got, well, I've got a Warhound Titan anymore. I believe that this guy possibly is going to end up being the uh, tech priest for my Warhound Titan, but we'll see. We'll see how he looks and everything. Uh, but anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. So, small package. Um, for the price of £20, uh, you can purchase a Grand Brindle from store exclusive only. However, I've been told by the guy from Games Workshop, my local Games Workshop, that he will be available to order when stocks run out, which is weird because it means it's not really that exclusive then is it I don't quite understand how that works um but yeah so tech priest grand bindle the box itself is a small box kind of like the size that you got eisenhorn in uh, it's standard packaging really on the back We've got some little uh, shots, some little uh, close-ups of various uh, bits of Grombrindle and uh, his little uh, Black Gobbo uh, servitor there. Uh, it's got the usual guff on there, including like what colours to paint him. So you've got things like Mephiston Red, Null Oil, Evil Sun Scarlet, all that kind of stuff, all that kind of good stuff there. Uh, sides, bog standard, and then you've got all your warnings. Warning! Choking hazard, also 0 to 3, sad onions, just like ashes. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to actually uh, crack this guy open and we're going to take a look at the sprues. Now, I don't know if he's. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck happened to my knife? Oh, well, it'll still cut, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I don't know whether he's fine cast or whether he's plastic. I hope he's not fine cast because we all know fine cast is shite cast. <laughs> but yes, let's just crack into him and uh, we'll get it open. I think I may possibly get two of these guys, like I said, one for my Titan and one to actually have to use the battlefield as a Dominus. Uh, because he's just he's just too much of a cool model to just to pass up. Well I'll build him up later and I'll do some do some aftershots of him. But anyway, let's have a look. Oh! Oh my days! The gods! The gods have been kind to us, everyone! He's fucking plastic! Yes! Oh, I could weep with joys! The Omnissiah be praised! Praise the Omnissiah, the Machine God, and the Motive Force! But first, before we look at the spring, let's look at this. This is just a little, um, little instruction manual. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, not really anything particularly difficult here by the looks of it. Sadly, looks like he is one of those uh, GW like front and back miniatures, which is a little bit sad. There's a few little bits that make him a bit more 3D. Very static pose, and it's a shame that the, the Black Gobbo is only um, uh, just a head and a body as well. But, oh well, should be pretty good. Um, let's have a little look. So, in there you get the sprue, the singular sprue. It's, do you know what? It, it really does astonish me sometimes. Sometimes you've just got to look back, and you've just got to take a step and think, this... Piece of plastic cost me 20 of Her Majesty's English pounds. Absolutely flabbergasting. Um, the size base that he's on, he's on a Dominus sized base, which is pretty cool because obviously well, you get two little guys, don't you? So, um, you know, it's pretty worth it. So, let's uh, zoom into the sprue. Let me just uh, zoom in ever so slightly. In fact, we're going to go, are we going to go full frame? Yep, yeah, balls, so we're going to go full frame here, guys. And I'm going to turn it that way so that it doesn't actually match up. Um, but yeah, so, uh, one, two, three, can't fucking count, one, two, three, four, five, six piece kit, seven if you include the base, um, chocked full of detail. Uh, first and foremost, let's take a look at the Black Gobbo, let's just see how far we can get a zoom in on this before my camera decides to blur it out. Can we use the base to uh, differentiate? Oh yes we can, yes we definitely can. So there is the Black Gobbo, if anyone knows Grand Brindle and the White Dwarf, he knows he's got a long standing feud with the Black Gobbo, and he's appeared as many other things in the past, he's been a vampire slayer, he's been a spaceman, I really wanted that guy but couldn't get a chance to do it, he's been, um, oh, what he? I'm, I'm sure he's been a space marine at some point as well, um, he's been lots of different things, but this I just had to have because it's Mechanicum, I mean come on now. Uh, so yeah, here we go, here's the Black Gobbo, here's his very very sad face, he's been a Optimized. He is now a servitor. He has such a sad life, or a better life, you might uh, think, considering he's a goblin. Uh, his little body is uh, is here, and he's got a very, very little body. Uh, it looks like he's got a gigantic power fist or a power claw, and then like a really comical kind of like wibbly wobbly claw. That's pretty cool. And the back of his little little body, 
It's got lots of little control panels. Mm, I'm going to have fun painting up those little controls and stuff. That's going to be really, really cool. Of course, if I use this as my Titan Tech Priest, no Xenos allowed in one of the Emperor's Almighty God machines. So I'll have to uh, use him on something else. But we'll see. We'll see. And next thing we're going to look at, we're going to look at... Uh, you know, we'll look at the, the, the partial front to uh, Grombrindle right here. Let's put the base in front of him again. So, absolutely chock full of detail on that. I mean, just look at that beard. That is... An almighty mechadendrite beard right there. I mean, that is, that's a beard that everyone aspires to. That's a beard that everyone wants to have, wishes they could have, but do not have, sadly. Uh, but yeah, really nice. It looks like he's got um, the uh, Dominus feet, uh, kind of from the actual Tech Priest Dominus model, which is really cool. Uh, he's got his little dwarven totems here, as well as all the various Mechanicum bits. The actual, I really like this. So the Mechanicum logo has been replaced by uh, a dwarven like icon type thing, and this would fit perfectly in a squat army. Uh, nice details on his arm there. He's got like some like uh, Mechadendrites going up into his arm, by the looks of it, some little um, ports and things. Uh, really, really cool. He's got, I love his expression. He's just, let's see if we can get a bit of a more of a better zoom in. I just love his cheeky little expression. It's really, really cool. And his little mohawk. Just nice. Just really good. I like it. He's got some little drills on the ends of his mechadendrite. And it looks like he's holding something. Oh, I bet he's holding an STC. <laughs> that cheeky, cheeky white dwarf. Maybe he stole the STC off the Black Gobbo and then he lobotomized him. We don't know. We never shall. Um, yeah, turning him around. Uh, more bits. Oh, there's the back of that. That's hollow for some reason. Oh, that's because, by the looks of it, uh, that actually ties in with his servo harness here. We're not going to look at that just for the second. We're going to look at the other half of him. So it looks like he's got full uh, bionic arm on one side, which is nice. I do like uh, painting bionics and stuff. There's just something really satisfying about doing it. Got the other half of his beard there, and the other half of his mohawk. That's pretty good. Then we've got this really nicely detailed little servo harness. So it looks like... Yeah, so, this crazy hand-looking thing, it looks like that attaches to the back of your servo harness. That's that's really cool. I like that. Got a little searchlight there. It's got some little tanks on there to put goop in. I'd had to just paint my tanks um, uh, just brass or, or bronze. But there we go. There's the Admech logo, so he's not completely dwarven. That's really nice. But yeah, really, really lovely detail. Lots of like little holes and stuff in his cloak. Um, I think that the, oh, he's also got... Oh, I've missed a little bit. He's also got a tiny little mechadendrite there, which is like a little fucking can opener. I love that. That is some nice attention to deal right there. It's got a little can opener and a little corkscrew. Because why not? White Dwarf's got a drink, you know what I mean? He's got to get his Bugman 6X brew uh, somewhere. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back and I'm going to, well, I'm going to go out, I'm going to pause the camera and I'm going to build him up. I'm going to see him what he's like when he's built. So join me in a second. Okie dokie, guys. So I've been away. I have uh, decided, I've built him. I have him right here. And I've got to say, I li literally, literally not even two minutes to put together. No issue whatsoever. Uh, I don't think I've ever quite built a, a kit as easy, apart from maybe like snap fit space marines. Really insanely easy. You know, I, I would say on a degree of one to ten, ten being the most difficult, one being easy, this is definitely a one. It, it, it's just, There's no brainer in it. It, it, it. You could do it in your sleep, basically. Although, uh, when I did get the, um, the Black Gobbo off, I did realise that um, he's quite st uh, static and quite um, flat, so this uh, got me thinking, hmm, I wonder if I could cast this up and make an army of lobotomized goblins. <laughs> That's for another video though, guys. But yeah, so here he is, really happy with the way he, you know, he turned out, obviously. I can't not be. Um, I mean, this guy would be perfect for anyone that has an Admech army, anyone that has just wanting a nice collector's piece, or anyone that has a skull. Squat army, oh, yeah, that's right guys. Squats! Squats are back! Squats confirmed. Well, we all know. Well, there's actually a couple of legitimate squat models now, but he could quite easily go in a squat army um, as part of like a, a, a Mechanicus guild or something like that. I don't know. But um, yeah, really, really good. I'm pleased I got him in the collection. Definitely worth the 20 quid that you pay for him. And um, yeah, he's totally going to be uh, knocking about in uh, probably one of my Titans. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think of this model. Are you going to get him? Uh, leave a note in the comments in the doobly-doo down below. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to like, favourite, and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the Facebook page. And do not forget to pick up on the Instagram and have a look at that because there's more stuff going on there than the Facebook at the moment. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to go and paint this. You can see this painted probably in my Let's Build a Warhound Titan set of videos. So, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys again. See you now, and goodbye.